What's up everybody, Ramey here, and in this video I am reviewing doing a leg press with lever arms. Um, I have, over the last several months, been trying to find the best way to do leg press with lever arms. It was one of the reasons I got my lever arms. Um, these are the Titan Fitness lever arms. Um, and I have played with every angle, every kind of setup you could possibly think of when trying to get lever arms to work. Um, well for the leg press and today I'm going to kind of talk about what I found and if I think it's good or not and if you're looking for an alternative to leg press does this work is it worth the investment to get it considering all the different things about it um, I'm not going to be reviewing my specific pieces of equipment because I want to keep this more generic to really any lever arms that there are out there um, you can see that I have it set up right now um, I've got my leg press set up, but we're going to go through and kind of talk about all the different things I try. Um, because I wanted something that would feel just like a leg press machine at a gym or close to it. Um, so I tried a bunch of different setups. Pretty much every kind of setup you could think of. I'll post some pictures right now so that you guys can take a look at some of the different setups that I've tried as I was trying to figure out the best way to do the leg press. Um, I've used a leg press attachment, which I have the leg press Tighten attachment on here right now. Um, I have done a leg press with a pull up bar. Um, using that for my foot rest, I have used bands, I have used weights, and I kind of have a feeling of what's best, what's the best angle, and how to best do it. So let's kind of talk about all my experiences and how I ended up with it right where it is right now today. All right, so the first way that I tried was sitting up vertically. And you can see in my little picture or video here that I have up on the screen what it's like when you're sitting up vertically. And the issue that you have when it's set up vertically is that there's really no weight resistance. There's no weight resistance on, this is kind of the downfall of lever arms. There's no weight resistance on lever arms until they're about at like a 30 to 45 degree angle like you see here. This is where you start to feel resistance. But if these lever arms were flat against my rack as you saw in that little clip, there's literally zero resistance. I mean, I can fill this up with weight and just push it and it's just nothing. It's no resistance at all until I get to about here. Um, you can use bands for that to add that resistance to the flat part. Um, and that's okay as like a, a nice exercise sometimes. The problem with the bands is that it's really loose to start and then it gets heavier as you go. Um, so if that's what you're trying to do with your leg press, if that's how you want it to feel, then it works to sit vertically like that. But if that's not what you're going for, like that doesn't feel like a leg press machine at all. So yes, the bands work when sitting vertically, but it wasn't that great. Next thing I tried as I played around with different leg set, press setups was I saw on some videos people using a pull-up bar um, for their leg press. And I thought, you know, that's brilliant. I should use a pull-up bar. So before I had the leg press attachment, um, I was using a pull-up bar. And let me kind of talk about what I found when using a pull-up bar for leg press. So the first thing I found is that this is a Titan pull-up bar. The inside of this bar is hollow. This is 11 gauge, 11 gauge steel rated for 1,000 pounds. So I, I think as far as stability goes, it's probably fine. But like, even though it's rated for 1,000 pounds, it is um, hollow inside. And I just kind of felt like this pull-up bar is not meant to be a leg press. Like, is this really, how much weight is this really going to stand up before like this, maybe bends? I don't know the answer to that, and it probably would be fine, especially if you're doing like sub 300 pounds. You probably don't need to worry about it, um, but it was something that I considered and thought about. The other pr problem with the, the pull-up bar leg press is all the weight is literally on one part of your foot. So like all the weight is right here. So like, it just, it's like digging into your heel and it's not like even, it's not like a nice leg press where it's like a foot rest and the weight's distributed evenly across your foot. It's kind of like the difference between when you're doing squat and standing on a plate versus standing on a nice slant board. Like the slant board feels so much better because your weight spread out evenly. So there was that issue as well. Um, the other issue, is that I was a little nervous when doing this that my foot was just going to slip. Um, now I use Vans when I lift and they were kind of slippery like on this and it, it wasn't like supported well. It was literally just on my 
like the bar on my foot, so I was kind of nervous it was going to slip. Now the thing that I liked about the pull-up bar, that the pull-up bar did well on a leg press, was that as I did the leg press, my foot could change angles as I did the press to make it a more natural feel. So that's kind of what I found when I used the, uh, the pull-up bar for leg press. Now, let's get to my current set. So what I did is I decided maybe what I should do for leg press is actually purchase a leg press attachment and try that. So I purchased the leg press attachment from Titan and I basically played with every kind of setup possible. I had to adjust the lever arms up and down, up and down. I've got safety spotter arms supporting myself. I had to adjust these up and down. Do I want it like, like how much do I want this to go? So what I've determined is that as you're doing leg press, you want to start angle down and you don't want to go higher than about here. Once you start to get above here, there are some problems and I'll talk about that. So let me show you what this looks like when I actually do this vertical leg press. So the way I found to set this up, this is the only way leg press works unless you're using bands, is doing it vertically, where you lay on a bench or you lay on a floor with spotter arms and some kind of support right here. So I lay down, I do this vertically, and I'll kind of, you'll, you'll see. So as I lift up, you can see how high I get. Now as I'm at, well, as I'm at this point, and this is the big problem with using this. This feels okay. It feels nice. So let's talk about it. Because I don't want to, I don't want you to go out and buy this until I tell you the disadvantages of it too. Um, so this was the position that feels the absolute best. I chose to put my weight horns on top here. You could also put them out to the side. I don't think that was going to make any difference. It's still fighting against gravity as you go up and down. The key was not having my lever arms go above here. Now, here's what I found. Compared to the pull-up arm, the leg press attachment allows me to keep my feet very even and along on all my weight on the, the leg press. So like everything feels good. It's like using the difference between that slam board and having your foot on a plate when you're doing squats. So that was a huge difference for me. Now, the bad thing about the leg press attachment is that your ankles are in the same fixed position throughout the whole entire press. The reason this is bad is because this is an arch. So as it arches, so as it gets, the leg press gets to this point, all of a sudden your ankles are being pushed backwards, like pushed down, and it's very uncomfortable. So there was that problem. So the only way I could make it work is if it went up to about here. As soon as I got higher than here, it was a huge, huge, huge problem with my ankles. So it's not an ankle mobility problem, it's that my ankle, well you can't see it, but basically my ankles, I want it to be like nice throughout the movement, would get bent in different ways depending on this arch because they couldn't move. Whereas with the pull-up bar that never happened because they could move around. So that was the big disadvantage of this. Now some people suggested do the leg press backwards, this way. It didn't help whatsoever. Um, in fact, it did the opposite effect. So while my ankles were bent inwards, doing it this way when it got too high, my ankles were pushed outwards too much, way beyond natural um, when I did it the other way. So that didn't help or work either. Um, okay, <laughs> so that's, that's, this is the absolute, me playing around with every single setup, this is the absolute best leg press setup I could come up with. Now, having said that, is it worth it? And do I think it's actually good and does it compare to a leg press? So here are my thoughts on that. <laughs> um, where it's not worth it is setup time. Um, if you were trying to set this up during a workout, I would say that it's pretty much sucks big time. Um, you wouldn't want to do it. I come out and set this up the day before, like that night, when I'm going to do it the next day. It takes about three to five minutes. I mean, it's quick, but it'd be a huge pain in the butt. And carrying this thing and getting it set up right would be a huge pain during a workout. So I don't think if you're setting this up, you're planning on setting up a leg press during a workout, I'd say most people are not going to do it. It's a big pain. You might do it a couple times, and then it's a huge pain in the butt. It really is. And I'm the one who's okay with setting up stuff. And this just got a little, gets a little cumbersome. 
But setting it up the night before works really well. Okay, now let's talk about, um, so setup's not terrible, but it's not something you really want to do during your workout. Even like getting this on here, I'm going to do a review of this leg press attachment. It's really not very difficult to get on the lever arms. None of this is, you know, I set up my safety spotter arms, I set up my lever arms, and I put the attachment on. It's not terrible, but it's sort of a pain. Um, it does make me a little nervous like sitting under the weight here, but the spotter arm should be able to support that quite well. Um, now, the bigger question how does it compare to a leg press? And if I want a leg press in my house and I want the option to do a leg press, is this a good option? Does it feel like a leg press? So if I had to rate this on a, let's say a scale of one to 10, how close does it feel to a leg press? I would rate it as probably a six. So like midway. It is, it's good. It's, it's nice but it doesn't really feel like a real leg press very much. Um, it's okay, like it's an okay alternative to a leg press. Um, I think if you're trying to do a leg press as a main movement, as part of your, like you can't squat, you're doing leg press, you can't belt squat, you're doing a leg press, and this is your main movement, and you wanna put a lot of weight on it, I don't think lever arm leg press is for you. I would probably wouldn't buy it. Um, for me personally, I don't have a lot of space. I can, I'm never getting a leg press machine. I will never have the space for it. I do a leg press as an accessory to squat and deadlift where it's not a main movement. I don't put on a lot of weight for it. I do high reps, burn my quads. It's actually pretty good for that. It's, it's nice for that. Minus the setup, once it's set up here, it's actually a pretty good exercise for that purpose. Um, it doesn't take up any space. Like I can hide all this stuff really easily and it do doesn't take up much room, com especially compared to a leg press. And it gives me the, gives me 80% of what a leg press does as far as the feel. Um, so it's, it's good enough for that. But if you're the person looking for a real nice leg press, this is not the solution for you. If you're like, I'm looking for a, a, a leg press that I can save space on because I'm never going to get one, but I'd really like to do the movement sometimes. This is an okay investment. But when you start to consider the price of this, it's pretty expensive. When you buy the lever arms, you have to have the safety spotter arms, and you gotta have some kind of leg press attachment or extra pull-up bar. Um, and I really didn't like the pull-up bar. I, I think it's, there's some disadvantages to the pull-up bar compared to having a nice attachment like this. So those are my thoughts. Um, you know, it's, it's good, it's decent, it's not that great. Um, it, does, it does what I need to do. Um, it's enough that I can say, yes, I can do a nice accessory with my leg press. It is not good enough that I can tell someone, yes, this is awesome, go put 500 pounds on this thing. Because I, I think each of these only supports 600 pounds. I don't know if it would support it. Uh, I think it's good for a couple hundred pounds. I think it's good to get a nice burn in your quads. I don't think it feels like a gym leg press at all. So those are my thoughts on leg press with lever arms. There's just not like the... This is, this is the best setup. I tried everything. And you got to try everything because your legs might be built a little different than mine. Your body might be built a little different than mine. You got to see what works for you. But I can tell you, I can promise you that you're just going to be playing around forever trying to get it set up perfect because it just doesn't work right. Um, and it's just never going to feel like a leg press machine no matter what you do to it. I tried every alternative, every solution. It's just never going to feel like a real leg press machine. But it will feel decent enough, you know, as I said, I rated 6 out of 10 or 2 out of 3, whatever scale you want to use. I rated about midway. Like, it's okay. It feels like 60 to 85% of what a leg press does, and it's, it's nice enough. Am I happy I have it? Yeah, I am, because I like doing this as, a, as an accessory. Would I go out and buy lever arms, this attachment, and spotter arms just to be able to do this, this exercise? Heck no. In that regard, I don't think it's worth it. I buy all this because I need it for other stuff. Like I use my spotter arms as my main safeties. So I got, I got these, these lever arms. I actually eventually got them for free from Titan um, because they messed up my order. And this attachment right here, this leg press attachment, I bought used for 80 bucks. You can see my review on the attachment that I'm gonna post up as well. So those are my thoughts. Love to hear what y'all think about it and how you all tried, you know, lever arm leg press and what you actually found worked or not. But uh, yeah, I'd love to hear it later on.